Oh, say does that. Welcome you to this solemn and long overdue ceremony. Yet wave for the land of the free and the home. Hundreds of veterans. Family members and residents gathered in Rockville for the official unveiling of Montgomery County's own Vietnam Veterans Memorial. County Executive Ike Leggett described the event as powerful and emotional. It is for my fellow veterans that we are gathered here today. I want to thank all of them who are here for this memorial wall dedication. Welcome home. Among those in attendance, Montgomery County resident Everett Alvarez, who was shot down in 1964 while serving in Vietnam. He was the second POW captured in the war and was held for eight years and four months. As a Vietnam veteran myself and a citizen of Montgomery County of Rockville for 42 years, I truly appreciate the work that the commission members and the county officials have put into this effort to honor those whose names will be read and to honor all of those who served in Vietnam. The wall honors the 130 Montgomery County residents who lost their lives or were reported missing during the Vietnam War. Robert W. Abernathy. Each name was read aloud as part of the ceremony. Robert R. Groom. David M. Hart. Martin J. Bagosh. Many family members of these fallen heroes attended the event. For them, it was an opportunity to honor their loved ones and bring closure to their memories. As I know how, what kind of an impact it had on my grandmother. Um, uh, you know, it's hard losing a son. He was 19 years old. Robert M. Gaffigan. You know, it's always devastating to lose anybody, but especially uh, someone so young killed in action. He left behind three brothers. And so I'm here on behalf of my uncle and my father, Larry, and I'm just happy to be here to just pay my respects to him. Robert D. Mason. I was very impacted by going to D.C. and seeing that wall, and I think that this brings it much closer to home. And. Um, is even more significant, if possible, to our hearts, to our family. Um, unfortunately, both of our parents have, uh, well, have gone on to be with Robert. So my brother, my son, my husband, and myself are here to honor Robert and all of the other uh, service members that were lost. I went to Fort Benning and the infantry school, and so I know people there that didn't make it. Bill Chrisman, his name is on here, he was the first person I knew who was killed in Vietnam. And also my roommate from Officer Candid School, Charlie Flott, his name is on the wall. And these are people that were very special to me. And I'm glad the county did this. Talk a little bit about the significance um, and why you felt it was important to represent the council today. Well, I wanted to be here, of course, to express the appreciation of everyone who lives in Montgomery County for the contributions and sacrifices of those who fought and the families of those who fought and died. Also join in saying that they will never be forgotten and this wall will be here forever. And we really appreciate what they've done. We do this now because for many of us, this will be the last chance we have to honor the memories of our fallen brothers and sisters Former Montgomery I County Council Member Mike country. Subin served in the Vietnam War. Today, he is a member of the County Commission on Veteran Affairs. A big advocate for the memorial, the day held special meaning to him. The years of neglect to the memory of not only them, but to honor the families. You know, this was done for a lot. Of people. It was done for the families, it was done for the Vietnam vets, it was done for those of us who served during that era to pay honor to those who didn't come home. 